Manchester United are leading a move by Premier League clubs to return the transfer deadline to the end of August. This year's shift forward to August 9 was deemed a failure in many quarters and United are keen on extending the window. Crucially, they have backing within the big six, who fear the early deadline hands power to European rivals. A source at an elite club said, if Chelsea had lost Eden Hazard to Real Madrid, they would not have been able to replace him. Moves are often triggered when the selling club know they have a replacement lined up and that also affected the number of deals done. This put English clubs at a disadvantage. The issue was raised at a Premier League meeting this month and it was agreed to debate it further at the next summit in November, when there could be another vote. Although no English clubs lost any of their top players to European superpowers last month, the prospect of late bids did trigger panic. Some clubs believe the move may have come a year too soon. The World Cup meant business was delayed and the period in which to sign players was shortened further. Tottenham were unable to sign a single player. The club did vote for the window to be brought forward but manager Mauricio Pochettino is not a fan. Manchester United, Manchester City, Crystal Palace, Swansea and Watford voted against the change last September and Burnley abstained. With Swansea relegated, United would need support from another 10 clubs. They will hope to use the experience of the last window to strengthen their case. Of the other clubs, it is understood that Chelsea would seek the opinion of manager Maurizio Sir before deciding how they would vote. Newcastle have yet to decide but are thought to remain broadly in favour of the earlier date. Clubs will also be keeping a close eye on FIFA, who are planning to introduce a stand artist transfer window which would see a closure in every country the day before the start of their seasons. Should that be given the green light, English clubs could remain at a disadvantage compared to clubs in countries where competitions kick off later.